Okay, uh, fellow do-it-yourselfers, this is what we're attempting to build. It's a 10-foot uh, comet teardrop. Uh, ours will have uh, one door from Vintage Technologies on the passenger side rather than the two-door setup and then a a large, fairly large window on the driver's side. And now I'll show you a uh, short video on on the build that we've uh, accomplished to this point. Okay, I thought we'd do a little rundown on where we're at on the uh, teardrop trailer build. Here in the garage we have the the chassis. We've got the chains, safety chains mounted in the, uh, the center jack. And sitting on the frame upside down we have the the uh, bottom deck. I've been working on the wiring here. I got a uh, five and a half by or five by eight and a half uh, junction box and uh, running the trailer lights and the uh, AC under the deck and and uh, have uh, also have four DC circuits running to the back. I've installed these insulation panels it flush with the bottom. And we have a space on the back. We're going to run the trailer lights up through the deck floor for the for the tail lights. Also in back here we have it's pretty hard to see. Back there we have a uh, trailer uh, socket. Here's our our axles or our torsion axles. Over here we have the passenger side uh, the, the side. It's a uh, four, approximately four by ten. We have a splice here with biscuits. We have our roofing panels and some also some uh, what I'm going to use for for interior uh, deck and we got some, some more uh, and here we got six uh, four by ten sheets of aluminum and we have some styrofoam insulation and I'll take you into the basement. Okay, here in the basement we have uh, the inner driver side panel. We got a we got a window. We got a trim out a little more. 
these panels are in already insulated and we're either going to run the taillights back here through the side of the panel or or through the back I haven't made a decision on that yet here we have the the rail for the for the ceiling we uh, routed that with a eighth inch uh, roto zip bit and so we'll put in the side panel and then uh, lay in the roof panel and then uh, mount our our uh, struts on top of that okay it's kind of hard to see here but we've got two interior side panels roughed out I'm not sure how far I'll take those back cut a full sheet to, to start with I do have some questions for the future of whether people uh, glue their their uh, their uh, birch down to the to the top here and staple it or just staple it and whether the the uh, ceiling is glued to the to the struts or or whether they're just uh, stapled or secured in some other manner I'm going to run a couple of light circuits I got a light about here on each side the light will be coming through and probably have a switch on the door side for the exterior lights and then I have a have the fan and the the uh, interior overhead light and that's about we're gonna have a couple of uh, SUB plugs uh, USB plugs I mean so that's about where we're at right now I'm going to uh, be painting the exterior walls and the the two by twos on the, on the bottom of the deck with um, the uh, with the marine uh, varnish I can't recall it's uh, I can't think of the name of it right now but that's what we're looking at right now so if you have any suggestions uh, now on the bottom here The uh, I have pocket screws all along here to attach, plus the overlap on the on the deck will be secured with with uh, I believe it's two and a half inch screws all along the bottom, so that should be fairly secure. Well, I'll have. Uh, some of the actual build videos up probably in in uh, three three speed or something like that so it doesn't get too boring uh, like and subscribe and put your comments below let me know what you think what I may have done wrong or should do in the future so I don't make a mistake <laughs>